माधवाशा प्राप्त जश्य प्रथित कृपया श्री गुरु तम नोस्म कल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्ये च पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई ऑफ माई स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर देन मोस्ट ऑस्पिशियस डे दैट कम्स इन अ लाइफ ऑफ अ डिसाइपल और अ डिबोटी दैट इज गुरु पूजा द अनदर नेम ऑफ गुरु पूजा इज ऑल्सो कॉल प्यास पूजा सो आई वुड लाइक टू इलिमिनेट वाट डज इट मीन बाई गुरु एंड ब्यास एंड वाई डू डू दिस ब्यास पूजा एंड गुरु पूजा Literally, Bias means diameter. You know, diameter. We say, on the circumference of a circle, when you join the two farthest point, the joining line is called diameter. So, what are these two points? One point is that spiritual world, Guru Golok Vindavan, and one point is this material world. These two are the farthest points. We can go anywhere in this world. It's at least mentally we can go to different stars different planets but in brahma samhita it has been said that that golok vrindavan is inconceivable you cannot reach there even by minds so these are the two farthest points the person who joins these two points like we are in this material world and who transfers us from this material world to that spiritual world golok vrindavan is bias the person who performs the activities of bias is also called bias <coughs> in general term we say it guru what does what does it mean by guru gu means darkness and ru to destroy to, to to dispel so the person who destroys the darkness that is in our heart that is the forgetfulness towards krishna is guru another meaning we derive is you must have known you must know about the gravitational force so gravity is called gurutva and the person who has that gravity that means power to attract somebody is called a guru so we see all the pure devotees who come to this material world has that power he can attract the fallen souls and engage them in the loving service of krishna so these are the <coughs> literal meanings of guru and bias <coughs> so what is the necessity to accept a guru to accept a bias yes in shrimad bhagavatam it has been told that nirdeh matram sulabham sudurlabham labham sukalpam guru karna dharam when a jiva understands at least on philosophical level that no we are not this material body we are the eternal souls and we have some other engagements what are our engagements when he knows it then he tries to achieve that so simal bhagavatam says that can be achieved only in this human life nirdeh matram only in this human form and that too is not very easily accessible very easily achievable that is <coughs> sudurlabham that is rarely achieved after visiting through so many species we come to this human life and in this life we get a chance so what should we do says immediately you should accept a guru who is guru the guru is person who can drive you through this ocean like a boatman drives the boat and you will be the passenger in that boat so this is the function of a guru and every each of the human being i mean the animals they don't have that consciousness to think about this but the human beings we have this consciousness we know it and knowing it we must have a guru so <coughs> Now, what does a guru do? Raghunath Das Goswami, as you all know, when came from Jagannath Puri after the departure of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was thinking of suicide. But Ch- Sanatan Goswami and Rupa Goswami forbade him not to do so. Then Raghunath Das Goswami 
Prahi Sanatan Goswami, he, he wrote in Bilap Kusmanjali. What does he write? Bairagi Yug Bhakti Rasham Priyatane Apayayan Maam Abhipsip Apayayan Maan Abhip Sumandham Kripam Buddhiriya Paraduk Dukhi Sanatanam Tang Prabhu Masrayami. He is praying, I was not willing to stay in this material world anymore. I was not willing to do bhajan. But this is Sanatan Goswami who forcedly, who forced me to stay in this world and gave this Vairagya Yug. That means Yukta Vairagya. Similarly, <coughs> he is saying that so that Sanatan Goswami, he is Par Dukha Dukhi. He really knows who is a Dukhi person, who is a sad person in this material world, and he really tries to make them happy. So I was a Dukhi person, I was not happy, but Sanatan Goswami made me happy. So I bowed down to the lotus feet of Sanatan Goswami. We all see, we are also a very sad person. We don't want to do bhajan, but Gurudev mercifully acting as a representative of Sanatan Goswami, possibly giving nectar and harikatha into our eyes, engaging us in the service, <clears throat> not accepting any offenses that we do is acting like it's Sanatan Goswami, really. So this is the work of a Guru. Sanatan Goswami gave that Sambandha Gyan. I mean, we consider him as the person who gives us Sambandha Gyan. So this too is a uh, <clears throat> work of Guru to give that Sambandha Gyan. <clears throat> but who possesses that quality of a Guru? As Rupa Goswami wrote in his Upadesha Amrit, Vajo Vegam Manso Vegam Manso Krodha Vegam Jiva Vegam Udru Pastha Vegam Etan Vegam Jo Vishayit Adhira Sharvam Api Mang Prithwing Shishishyat. This is the general definition of a Guru. But here nothing has been discussed about the internal mood of a Guru. These are totally external. As we are hearing for many days, Savade Parecha Nishnatam Brahman Yupshamasritam these are, I mean, in these two also, two are external, one is internal. In our line, we know that Guru has a better qualification that, than these verses describe it. But regarding choosing a Guru, I would like to, I mean, we all say Sabde Parej Sabde Nishnatam. Sabde means he should be thorough in all the Vedic scriptures, but sometimes we see that it's not like that. Externally at least, I would like to give an example that <coughs> Prabhupada Sil Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, we all know his Diksha Guru is Gorkishwa Das Prabhuji Maharaj. Externally, he was not a good, ex uh, <coughs> he was not so well versed in his scriptures as Maharaj was showing today morning also. Why did Prabhupada approach him? And what kind of nistha, that deep attachment was with Gorkhistha Prabhuji Maharaj? We, <coughs> the conditioned soul cannot understand a person who is really a Mahabhagavat. But Prabhupada himself, he was a Mahabhagavat. He knew Gorkhistha Prabhuji Maharaj. We don't develop that attachment to our Guru. In Hindi or Sanskrit, we say it Mamta. Mamta is the very condensed form of deep attachment. So when he approached Gorkhisar Das Babaji Maharaj, Babaji Maharaj was reluctant. He did not accept him. He said, okay, I'll see. I will ask Mahaprabhu whether he wants me to accept somebody as a disciple or not. So Prabhupada repeatedly approached him and repeatedly Gorkhisar Das Babaji Maharaj was refusing him. No, I did not ask some, saying something he was, <coughs> he said something, I, sometimes I forgot, something like that. Then Prabhupada made a bow that Ramanuj Swami, he approached 17 times to a person, I mean, a guru who was teaching him just the, out, out of five branches, only branch that Yamanacharya lived, left with him. 
he approached 17 times. So I will die if God Kishwaras Prabhuji Maharaj will not accept me as his disciple. So this shows the nishtha. Even before we say we, on superficial platform, we receive external things, but we are not really attached to the Guru. If we really want to progress in this devotional service, we want to achieve that service of Radha and Krishna, we should have that deep attachment to Guru. He was not initiated, but in the heart he accepted him as a Guru. Just like we say in India, chaste wife. Chaste wife, Maharaj always says, means if she <coughs> makes somebody husband in, in her heart, like Rukmini made Krishna as her husband in her heart, so Krishna was her, her husband. So similarly, if we accept somebody as guru in our heart, that is a real initiation, like Prabhupada did. Then what happened? God Krishna Swaraj Mahaj was reluctant to accept him as a disciple and he took a vow that I will leave my life, I won't leave anymore if he doesn't accept me. He left everything, eating, drinking, everything everything. Then Bhakti Pranam Thakur approached God Krishna Swaraj Maharaj. Babaji Maharaj, what are you doing? If you don't accept him, he won't live anymore. Then Babaji Maharaj accepted him, accepted him as a disciple. So Externally, we see Gorkhus Das Babaji Maharaj, he was not a very well-known scholar at that time. But we say he was a Mahabhagavat Paramahans. So generally, in <clears throat> for our case, it's not possible that we can judge somebody unless we are also equally on that platform. But what does I mean to say <clears throat> that we should have that kind of nishtha that Prabhupada showed towards Gorkhus Das Babaji Maharaj. And later on, <coughs> when he becomes Acharya, then he describes, these disciples are not my disciples. These are the manifestations of my Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj manifested himself in front of me just to take service from me. These are not my disciples. This is the vision of a Guru that Gurudev was saying tomorrow, today morning also. He never said any disciple, you are my disciple. He accepted them as the manifestation of his Gurudev. So this is this too is a symptom of Acharya. He engages engages everybody in the service of Krishna, but never thinks him thinks the disciples as his servant. When you go to accept somebody as our spiritual master, we should be very careful regarding these things. He, when he explains the glory of Gorkhisar Swaraj Maharaj, he becomes so emotionless. He says, <coughs> when I approached my Guru Maharaj, he refused me. Why? That time I was the greatest scholar in that whole country. He said to me, I am not qualified enough. That means Babaji Maharaj is showing his humbleness. I am not qualified enough to accept a person like you as my disciple. You are such a great scholar. Then he said, that time I really understood that I am the greatest fallen soul in this whole world. Because the person to whom I, I accepted as my spiritual master is not accepting as me as a disciple. So, that, so I am the greatest fallen soul in this material world. So he goes on glorifying his Gurudev. When we read those things, we also become emotionless. And, try to <coughs> catch the mood of Prabhupada that he had for his Gurudev. Once he said, my Gurudev, he always <coughs> used to speak himself as Gaur Das. But we know he is the manifestation of, manifestation of Nityanand Prabhu. If somebody says, even by chance, that your Gurudev is not the manifestation of Nityanand Prabhu, that I don't want to see the face of, face of that person even in the dream. This kind of nishtha we need if we really want to progress in the bhajan. Then we... So Maharaj is going to stop here. I will stop here. So on this day, 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 I wanted to also listen very bona fide and qualified 
Also, I wanted to tell something about Guru Tattva. I think that we will meet tomorrow in the same time when we at about five. And again, so good discussions will go on. And then I may begin Chaitanya Chaitanya also on Arpiti Charing Chira. So, also Brahmacharis and Govinda Bhakta Prabhu Maharaj, they will also speak something. I want to hear. And if anyone wants more, I'll be happy to hear them. So, I want to tell only this thing. There were so many bona fide Guru in Satya Yuga. There were so many exalted Gurus in Treta Yuga, like Vasishta, hmm? like so many. Hmm? In Dwapar Yuga, Kavi, Havi, Antariksha, Pippalayan, Prabuddhayan, all so big, big learned, Narada and all others. But I think that we are more fortunate than them. That if we are coming in the line of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, Krishna and Radha conjugal form Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The line in the line of the Guru is in the line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Are more more superior. That I told the Gurus in Treta Sattaju, Treta and Dabaju. They are not given Krishna Prem. They have given Mukti. No important. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him Mukti is very bad. Thing. All these Gurus are only what you heard. So many, we have heard the name of the Gurus. What Donacharya gave to Arjun? Hmm? Any Krishna Prema or what he gave? Nothing. Also Krishna went to Sandipani. What he gave to Krishna? I, I know that Krishna gave him so much thing. Really, Krishna was Guru and he was disciple. <laughs> I think that he was not qualified to be the disciple of Krishna. I think gopis are disciple of Krishna and Krishna is disciple of gopis. So we are come in this line and we are so much fortunate than all in past days. Our gurus, from Rupa Goswami, Sarup Damodar, Rup Gos, uh, Damodar Raya Ramananda, Rupa Goswami, Sad Goswami, Narottam Thakur, Shamananda Prabhu, Srinivasa Acharya, Vishwanath Jagwati Thakur, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Vedans, Swami Maharaj and our Guru, Nitya Lila, Prashtam, Vishnupad, Shishwan Bhakti Pragyan Goswami. They can know, give more and more superior things than them. And that is Krishna Prem. What is the, that Krishna? Divided into five fractions. And among all these things, <laughs> Gopi Prem is the highest. They can give this. So you are lucky. I will try to express my all these ideas fully tomorrow and they will also express their ideas. I am so happy to hear so good, good expressions about Guru Dev. 
So I am debtor to them. Or you should daily come and encourage me to praise the mission of Swamiji, my Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Siddhan Sarasvati Goswami Prabhupada, Rup Goswami and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gaur Pramananda. They have something very special. And very tactile. Maybe. Coming up. Now this is remnants all for all What should I do? Anyway. It will fit. In the middle. Oh, go to Malam! Hello!